If he does have confidence in the fact that he could beat me, it is based off a of delusion and he has a mental disorder. Okay, let me watch his fight against Anderson Silva. I'm going to knock him out respectfully um, and with love, but it, it has to be done. And I'm super confident in my power, my ability, my speed, um, my technique. So, Jake, I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, Amanda Serrano versus Sarah Mafood this Saturday, live on the BT Sport box office. Um, she's looking to avenge a loss to Katie Taylor, of course. Um, how she dealt with the preparation, how she coping mentally going into the fight? Look, I think she wants to make a statement and avenge her loss, like you said, and she's been super motivated. And a champion like Amanda Serrano doesn't lose two fights in a row. Um, and I think she wants to KO Sarah and, you know, show the, the UK fans um, that, that she's lethal um, and continue the storyline uh, on the road towards a Katie Taylor rematch. And uh, that defeat to Katie Taylor, it must have been hard to take for her. Um, did it sort of uh, knock confidence a bit or is there a fire in her belly to go again and sort of, you know, get herself back onto the winning path? I don't think it was hard, you know, for her because it was a win all the way around the board. And, you know, I, everyone thought she won the fight. Um, and just for what it did for the sport, for women um, and for her for her bank account, it, it's hard to call it a loss. Um, but she is motivated to, to, you know, get that rematch and come back and uh, and prove to the judges that she – was the real winner in in the first fight. You sort of hinted there the impact uh, women's boxing, you know, how it's grown as a sport. This is a fight that's on there, uh, part of the co-feature of the card of the Joe Joyce, Joseph Parker fight. But just how much have you seen women's boxing as a whole grow in the last 12 months? It, it's crazy. It's an, it's incredible. I think there's way more coverage, way more interest. And even within the gyms, you know, one of my friends um, here was like, yeah, I go to the gyms like every day and, uh, you know, around the island, you see like one girl maybe in the gyms here and there. And then after the Serrano Taylor fight, he was going to the gyms and he was like, there was like five to 10 girls in every single gym that he went to. Um, so I think the impact that this is having is, you know, we, we can't even comprehend it right now. And uh, it's, it's massive and it's, made a huge difference and of course your your influence in the sport can't be underestimated either obviously you've been managing serrano and and the fight between her and Kate so it was such a huge occasion not just as a women's boxing event but a boxing event as a whole but how much of an impact do you think you yourself have had as in women's boxing as a whole um i i think a, a pretty good impact but i i really give the credit to Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano and, you know, the, the Savannah Marshalls, the Michaela Mayers, the Alicia Baumgartner, like they, they deserve the credit. Um, I'm just trying to shine a spotlight on what they're doing um, and help in any way that, that I can. Uh, do you think in some ways your uh, involvement in the women's boxing scene, helping it to grow as a whole, do you think that's sort of the reason why maybe some of the old school generation boxing fans sort of tend to target you and your brother in a way? Wait, say it again. So sort of, you know, um, some of the anger directed maybe from the older school of boxing fans, uh, do you think that sort of, you know, the impact you're having in the sport and making it grow and making it better, do you think those old school people do you think that sort of they use that as a target in some ways uh maybe like i i don't know I, I don't get if they don't see what i'm doing for the sport as good um then they're the actual problem in this sport um and they're just having an ego trying to keep things the way they were which is the exact reason that boxing was dying. So there needed to be change. Here's the change. If you don't like it, you're the problem. And then, of course, you, you yourself, you, you've got a fight coming up against Anderson Silva on the 29th of October. How's your preparations going for it, and how confident are you going into the fight? Preparations are going uh, better than ever, reaching new limits in my training camp. Um, and... I am beyond confident in the fact that I will knock him out um, and 
have a vicious KO. Unfortunately, but fortunately, because I, I respect him uh, deeply. Uh, but, you know, it, it's a sport and both of our lives are on the line uh, as soon as the bell rings. And I'm going to knock him out respectfully um, and with love. But it, it has to be done. And I'm super confident in my power, my ability, my speed, um, my technique for this fight. It'll be my best performance to date. How's it been sort of dealing with, you know, obviously the management side of things with Serrano here, whilst also trying to balance that with your preparations for your own fight? How's that been? Have you found it difficult? Has it been easy? Uh, not, not, not necessarily difficult, just, you know, part of the grind. And that's what I do best is work, um, show up every day. Um, and I have an amazing team that, that helps me and I get to do what I do best and they do what they do best. And uh, together, everyone achieves more. Um, so it, it's cool. And I, I love what I do. So that makes it easy as well. And then, of course, that, that is a fight that takes your priority, Anderson Silva. But of course, in the future, you've got Nate Diaz. Uh, he sort of hinted at maybe going for a future in boxing after sort of his retirement from the UFC. Um, is that a fight you'd maybe interested in taking on one day? Yeah, 100%. I, I think it's a, a massive fight, um, and he's expressed interest in it. I don't know if he can actually get out of his UFC contract or if he's actually out. Who knows? Um, but we would be down. We would be down, and I got to get through Anderson Silva, and uh, that's, a, that's a massive fight waiting. And then um, just sort of to round off there, earlier this month, you uh... – sort of called out KSI and said uh, you put a bit of a wager on, said um, if you were to beat him, you wanted stakes in prime. Uh, if he was to beat you, you said you could you would let him have stakes in better. Um, how far away, realistically, do you think you are from seeing a fight like that take place? Is it going to be sort of something you look in the long run, or is it just something you put to the back of your mind for now? I'm ready whenever. You know, I, I can fight the guy... It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll fight him whenever, wherever. I don't. I don't need to train for it. I, I told him I would fight him for free and on twenty days' notice while I was partying in Miami, and he didn't take that offer. Uh, that that would have been his best chance ever that he would have had at beating me. Um, so I, I don't think we'll ever fight. Uh, but if we do, winner takes all, and I want half of his prime equity, one hundred percent. Do you, do you think that's maybe, do you think he doesn't want the fight? Do you think maybe he's not confident enough to beat you? Definitely. And he shouldn't be. There's no reason. And, and if he is, if he does have confidence in the fact that he could beat me, it is based off a of delusion and he has a mental disorder. And I, honestly, I don't, I don't think he has a mental disorder. Um, he seems like a smart guy and the smart guy within him says to him, Oh, wow. I cannot beat that guy. It's that simple. Okay. Let me watch his fight against Anderson Silva. Oh, fuck. I am never going to be that good at boxing. Dang it. I shouldn't let this guy make $50 million and turn me into a meme. I'm going to use all my excuses to fucking not fight this guy and make shitty music. Um, but everyone will see that. Everyone will know that. Everyone will hold that against him for, for the rest of his career. You know, you were the guy who talked all this shit, but didn't back it up. Um, and he'll have to live with that.